Hello YouTube, Mochismo Eugene, another video from Exit Strategy, welcome. Let's talk about how unimportant a narcissist is in your life. Now, as I've always talked about, whereas we believe that the narcissist uh, played a vital role in supporting us and so when we get out of the relationship there is a, a trauma bond and there's a cognitive dissonance and these are just fancy words that basically mean that we can't shake the reality of um, their uselessness and their worthlessness so what we do we look for all the reasons to stay and we only need one reason to leave and that one reason is uh, the narcissist is useless and they're worthless to you and their themselves and I mean that in a very specific way it's not really about being demeaning uh, they are worthless and useless because of the fact if you got involved with a narcissist and they somehow faked us into believing that they were contributors in what we were doing in the process of life. Um, it was all an illusion. They were mimicking, they were copying what you were doing. They was pretending to be a support factor. But all of that was just part of the love bombing. And uh, in essence, so they could insulate themselves into your demise. So they needed you to get comfortable and to gain your trust. Um, it's almost like a KGB agent and when you look at uh, the movie James Bond this is how you're supposed to look at a narcissist uh, now that you are awake and, and you are aware uh, even though you may have some cognitive dissonance some, some trauma bond now you can look at this with a, a, a newfound perspective if you remember the movies James Bond uh, it was always um most often there was a beautiful woman who was seductive but James Bond was always aware his intuition was uh, through the roof he trusted no one but he gave an impression that he trusted them he allowed them to play their game and this is us as empaths and awakened ones um, we have that intuitiveness we have that intuition that is a gift only from God and we are able to see this stuff when most people in the world can't recognize it uh, or they talk themselves out of it um, the intuition is a protective covering for the average human being it is not something to be taken for granted when your intuition tells you something you're supposed to listen to it and what we do we uh, talk ourselves out of it or we suppress it now the worthlessness and the uselessness of that narcissist is just that they will not cannot and they don't even have the ability to uh, to wholeheartedly embrace the things that you embrace when you count on them and when you really need them that's when they let you down I just started thinking about this uh, because I have a broke foot right now. I don't have a narcissist that I'm depending on or, or anyone otherwise But I'm gonna go a step further with just people in general uh, Notwithstanding the narcissist you already know that some people were codependent enablers flying monkeys They actually go about life as narcissist uh, They have a lot of the narcissistic uh, stench because uh, you know when you lay with fleas uh, you know lay, they say when you lay with dog you get fleas so um, you hang around which we all have you ever seen a conversation whereas a narcissist was the lead was the leader of that conversation and you could see everybody not in agreement but then you draw you, you, you drew into more of what that leader of that conversation was talking about uh, and it was a lot of just foolishness it was a lot of backbiting. It was a lot of uh, just, just a lot of. In essence, it just was a lot of negative talk about 
either a person or a thing or a situation. Now, a lot of us empaths, we may be uh, labeled uh, as such as well, because all we do is harp on narcissists, as we should. And the reason why we harp on narcissists is because these are dangerous, diabolical, determined, uh, premeditatively negative, uh, destroying spirit people. And we will continue to do that. But I'm talking about the narcissists in grouping such as you will find. They are always the leaders of the pack. And if you didn't know, now you know a lot of our behaviors that we are now having to revisit and have to uh, introspect and curve the behaviors that we've had in times past are all contributors from being associated with narcissists. Because in and of ourselves, we are not harmful. We are well-meaning human beings. We don't study evil. We don't stu study discord. If we have something to say against somebody, it will be in truth. Because it will be in truth about something negative about that person that we know we don't want to have any part of, uh, that we are very discouraged by, uh, or not discouraged, or we're disheartened by and disappointed by and that's a difference in how we talk about what we don't like in the world a narcissist will talk about somebody who is a well-meaning human being in society but they will disparage and they will uh discredit that that person like nobody's business and this is why they're useless and they're worthless because their whole agenda is to come in and kill the light so they kill everything good Something that's thriving, they come in to kill it. And what does the devil do in the Bible? He came no more than to steal, kill, and destroy. This is why the narcissist spirit is demonic. It's straight from the pits of hell. They are the agents of Satan. And so with a broke foot, I was inspired to come on here because, you know, I find out that you really are in a pickle when you're limited. In, in walking or being able to do certain things. Say if I had a desk job, I could actually, you know, I could wing it with a broke foot. But because I'm a landscaper and I operate machinery and excavator, I am really, really uh, limited in what I can do. I was unhooking my trailer. I mowed lawns yesterday with my Z-turn lawnmower and I hobbled to the trailer, left the crutches there and hopped up on it. And uh, I, I mowed all the lawns, uh, you know, notwithstanding the weed whacking, but I generally weed whack the properties that I manage every other time. Uh, and it, they look they look good. Uh, matter of fact, I'm sitting in the driveway one of the places. When you can't walk and you need assistance there is none to be found you know i could have solicited one of the helpers that i use occasionally to do the weed whacker or the weed whacking and around the pole right there around the tree it's not bad so these are just things that i actually um and this is another one across the street so this is stuff that I have been doing prior to breaking my foot and I'm still doing it. And so, the narcissists they're just in the way. And don't get ill or hurt around them. This is when they really let you know just by their whole behavior that uh, you're needed. I mean, uh, you're needed by them in a really huge way you can't breathe they they have you an impression that you cannot even breathe the air god given air without them and i haven't experienced that by way of this broken foot but like i said i'm inspired because i see so much of how they move they want you to believe that without them you are nothing you can go nowhere and i want you guys to know if you don't understand the narcissist this way this is when you will be in a situation uh, much like i am and you will believe that you cannot continue on without the assistance of a narcissist 
there are things that you can do. Do what you can do and the things that you can't do, don't trouble yourself about them. Because in a pickle, you would often or we will often believe that we need assistance from uh, certain people. And if those certain people are narcissists, that's just giving them a foot back in that door that you should have left closed. Uh, you were in relationships. You may be out of that relationship with a narcissist. So now you need to move your stuff from one place to another. And you may not know anybody you can call on. And you think, oh, the narcissists know how to drive. They know how to drive a, a moving truck. They are the only ones that I can call on. It may be that you, they're the only ones that you can think of, but you know what? If they're the only ones you can think of, sit still, begin to think. And if you can't think of anyone else, guess what? Wait until a better time to do that thing. Be patient with yourself. Don't panic. Don't rush. Matter of fact, start minimizing the things that you feel like you need to do. Because the more you feel like you need to do things that they're pertinent, that they're pertinent, that they're urgent, the more you're going to become reliant on the narcissism, which you should have already shut the door. And so to wrap this conversation up, I really want you guys to know a narcissist is worthless and they're useless. Even with a broke foot or a broke arm, you are more useful than the narcissist with both legs, both arms, both eyes. They are only leeches. They take whatever persona or personality that you see them with. It is just they're, they're, they're cutting and pacing their behavior based on someone else that they've observed. They are never the same person all the time. The narcissist you see now, five minutes later, that's a different narcissist. They cannot maintain cognitive dissonance. Or should I say that may not even be the right term. They cannot. Object constancy is what I was trying to say. They cannot hold true to one specific type of way of acting and behaving. They're all over the place. That's why when they come out of love field with some old kind of foolishness, you and I are... Uh, we're, 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 we're like, we don't know what to think. You can't even say anything. But understanding that they don't have um, object constancy, basically they can't keep their eyes on the road of life. They're all over the place. They will desert a perfectly healthy relationship with you and jump ship with a guy riding by on a bicycle because it's an electric bike and that's just a new thing. I've seen a guy ride by on an electric bike. They will sacrifice a home with the Porsche, Lamborghini and everything just to get on the back of a bike with a guy riding around town just to, you know, it's, it's like a kid. Everything appeals to them, nothing satisfies. So that's why they're worthless and they're useless. Get this, guys, and don't ever forget it. Don't matter how appealing they, they may try to appear, there's nothing worthwhile inside of that narcissist or outside of that narcissist. That being said, bless.